take a deep breath because this is super important that you listen. We have identified 130, 130 families who so if we do not take them food, they won't get it. I am the director of Shoes for the Shoeless. Um, Shoes for the Shoeless, we are an organization that delivers brand new gym shoes and socks to children in need. We've been around since since 2010. That, some people are having a hard time comprehending that that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, how many boxes are you going to be carrying? How many people are you going to visit today? How many they can load up? I don't know. Last night we got a call from St. Vincent's. They have a lot of senior citizens. They have a safety net that works in two steps. Both of those safety nets are not working for those families right now. S I had a feeling that our schools were going to be closing last week. I wanted to think of a way to rapidly transition into food delivery. When schools close, I know you're going to have food programs. I know there are going to be children who will fall through those cracks, through those cracks. Uh, we work a lot in our communities and we see a lot of needs beyond shoes and socks. But I still knew there would still be children who would fall through any crack of a program that would be made. I knew all that was going to happen. I wanted to just target that small group. But everybody's mind was spinning. How do you do online education? Uh, there's so much happening all at once. My goal was 100. I felt very confident we could feed 100 families for three weeks. I think as of 10 minutes ago, we're up to 129. So I asked 300 people in our community, I need 300 of you. Here's exactly what we want you to put in this box. This will feed a family of four, 300 answered. I think within two hours, almost 200. It so quickly filled up because that's what our community, that's what Dana's like. And you see behind me the end result of that.